And what is wildlife on, on that island uh, over the years now? Oh, there's, uh, is it, is it, there's still, I think, clear islands above any islands. I might I'm hesitant to guess at the moment on the coast must have the wild must have the, the greatest number of wildlife and very of of so many different species of any island on the coast because if you're around the back of Clare Island, the cliffs of Clare Island at the back uh, on the northwest side, the Atlantic side, if you're there in the springtime of the year, uh, the, 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 the numbers of uh, seaboards that are nesting there is just beyond your wildest imagination. There's puffins, guillemots, kittiwakes, there's uh, fulmers, there's gannets. The gannet colony is, ex is, 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 is extending. The gannets came to the island there about 30 years ago, for whatever reason, you know, one wonders. But, uh, the, the Only 30 years ago. Huh? Only 30 Only years ago. 30 years ago. They, 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 well, there, were gan there was gannets flying around, mm. but they didn't start breeding or didn't start hatching on Clare Island until about 30 years ago. Mm. A pair, a couple of pairs started, and then it has just, it has blossomed. And if you go over there now, the whole place is white in springtime with gannets uh, nesting there. But there's a great variety of wildlife on Clare Island and uh, land boards as well. So the, 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 the names, of course, uh, uh, too numerous. And too numerous to think of them at the moment. There's a, there's a huge, huge variety of land and bird life on wild birds on Clare Island. And how about animals? Uh, the, wild, the wild geese, uh, when you mention just for to the animals, of course, the wild geese were, were always uh, coming to Clare Island in, 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 in great numbers. And I, uh, was into shooting as well in my young days, but we were shooting uh, myself and another chap on Clare Island, Michael Morton, Michael James Morton. We used to go shooting every weekend, wild geese and uh, uh, woodcock and all that kind of stuff. But I remember on one occasion I brought down when I, 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 or where the wild geese were were were, were uh, resting I, I, and flying. I brought down two geese with one shot, and. Um, one of the geese had a, a ring on its foot and it was it was tagged, if you want to call it a tag, it was tagged in Fleming Valley in Greenland only two years before as a young bird. Did. And that bird had come all the way from Greenland and come to Clare and, and that was my last shot. I said, I'd never do it again. And how long ago was that? Oh Jesus, that's about uh, 20 years ago. But they're mm. still coming, but not in the numbers. Mm. And there was Barnacle and there was Grey Lag and there was uh, Canadians and other. Oh, they were lovely. There was a, it was it was it was, it was, a, it was a great uh, colony of uh, wild geese in those days. But the numbers have come down now, of course. And, and where were the land on the island? Back at the very west end of the, the island. Back of the uh, back around the. Mar island was always a great island for geese. Mm. And the strange thing, they're an extraordinary bird. Think of the, the, the mileage they cover. I remember uh, October is the time they come in <coughs> mostly and. Uh, I remember in those days, at night time, you could hear the cackling of the geese coming in over, flying over the house, arriving. I remember getting up one morning and looking out, and there was wild geese everywhere, just up from the beach and waddling around. They obviously had taken such a long flight that they were totally fatigued and they pitched on the island, and they just rested for a couple of days and then they went off again. But mm. there, was, there was thousands of them in it at that time. Uh, all of us, wildlife generally on the island is, is, is still still good, but uh, not what it used to be. The corn mm. creek, of course, is gone. Mm. I heard a cuckoo this year, which I didn't hear for several years. Mm. I heard a cuckoo on the island this year, which I didn't hear for several years. Mm. But the corn crakes are gone, of course. They're back in Turk and, and uh, well, Baffin. Well, I think Baffin have mice Baffin. one or two. Uh, I've heard of They were a nuisance in many ways in my place, uh, uh, in Clear Island, because there were so many of them in there, you couldn't sleep at night with that. Mm -hmm. if you're beside the meadow. They were, they were constantly... Uh, you'd miss the sound though, wouldn't you? Oh, they, well, you missed the sound. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 you missed the sound, yeah. yeah. It would be lovely to see them coming back mm. now. But, uh, in terms of animals, what's out there? Well, the only Usually. hair on the rabbit. Now, that's about the size of all the animals we have. We have nothing else. Do you have mice? And oh, well, of course, those damn things. Uh, right. And the rat. And the rat, yeah. The rat, but they're not... Uh, Would you have an otter? Oh, the otters are still around, otters yes. Around, yeah. I see the otters you'll find there regularly. In springtime, it's nice to see the otters. I used to see them down there on the beach, just down mm. under my house, actually, uh, on the beach and uh, in the springtime. Mm. In the month of May, it was um, April and May, you see them playing around and um, uh, they're still there, they're still around, not as numerous as they used to be. Yeah. There aren't many trees out there, no? 
Were there ever many trees in it? Well, Clare Island, oh, there was, of course. So way back in the dark ages, if you want to go back that far. <clears throat> Clare Island, I think, was, was known as Elon and Nicolia in years, um, years and years ago because there were so many uh, trees growing on the island. And if you go around, if you travel around the island at the moment, particularly in boglands, you'll see the stumps of trees still growing, still there. They're sticking mm. up there for everyone to see. And there was, there was, there was huge numbers of trees in the island because the bogs are there and uh, in times when lads were cutting turf, they were digging up uh, trees that had um, been not, and felled or knocked in the bog and preserved in the bog. Mm. And they're still there, there's still roots of the trees there. But they'll grow. I have planted trees there, they grow, there's no question about it. If you can protect them from sheep and whatever. Nobody ever tried a little forestry in it, uh, in the modern well, times. Well, uh. I would love to have tried it. I was trying it myself indeed. And uh, uh, oh, there, there's no question about it. You, you can grow trees in Clare Island. I've grown pine trees, mm. Sitka spruce and contorto pine and all that sort of stuff mm. uh, in, in, in various places. And, and the property that I owned there over the years. But they, they, it'll grow, will they grow? There's no question about it. Um, the other thing that the island is, 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 is very rich in is, is, is water, spring water, which is great. I remember I, the, the great Sean McBride, a great friend of mine in his latter years, used to come into the island and he was, this is up to about 20, up to nearly until a year or two before he died. and. Um, he was saying to me, whenever he came into the, to the bar or into the house, he'd drink nothing but spring the spring water because at the time I had a number of springs supplying the bar, the whole hotel literally. And um, he was very fond of the spring water, the island spring water. But he was saying to me at that time, he said, you know, he says, you should go into bottling spring water or clear island water. And I said, for God's sake, Sean, I said, <laughs> at that time I was saying, you know, it's actually like trying to sell sand in it to the Saharans, you know, to the Arabs. Yeah. No, no, he'd say, no, no. He said, you take it from me, he says, that in years to come, in time to come, every person in, Clare, in, in Ireland, every home in Clare Island will, will be drinking bottled water. Oh, no, right he was. Jesus, I tell you, when I look back and I say, how stupid was I? That, and, and Seamus Walsh and Mary used to be with him, and Seamus, I, he said, yourself and Seamus go into bottling. Uh, Clare Island spring water and when I look back and see how stupid we are we